Greetings in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ and Savior. My name is Lengiwe. I welcome you to Divine Radiance. Um, it's a pleasure to have you in this channel. Um, if you are coming in for the first time, please subscribe. Um, click the notification button on, like, dislike, share, comment. I would love to hear from you. Um, we are continuing with our lessons um, of um, Adam and Eve. And we are um, almost at the end of part one of this book. And then next year, we're going to be starting with part two. My um, intention was to finish part one and part two this year, but um, it didn't happen. So uh, next year, we're going to be doing part two of Adam and Eve. And I hope that we will finish part two very quickly. And then we can move to um, to the other books. Because, you know, um, God is interesting. You know, um, everything about him is very interesting. And um, the people that wrote the Bible, they have eliminated very interesting and profound um, scriptures um, that I feel that, you know, if people knew about those scriptures, maybe some of the mistakes that they have made, they wouldn't make them. And maybe the world wouldn't be what it is today. Um the damage, um, the wickedness, the foolishness, the stubbornness, the rebellion that we see in the world. People rebelling against God. Maybe we wouldn't see those things. Um, before we get um, to our teaching, I'm very much saddened by what is happening um, <clears throat> in, in, in South Africa. There's been... A proposal um, to to make unisex bathrooms um, in schools, and um, this saddens me a lot because everyone is up in arms about gender-based violence. Um, you know. And now they want to mix girls and boys in in bathrooms. I don't know what kind of wickedness is this. I've 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 never, you know, seen so much wickedness. This is wickedness at the highest level of them all. Because these people have been teaching our children how to have sex, you know. This comprehensive sexual education um it is teaching and it's still teaching our children how to serve to to have sex and how to arouse themselves how to arouse each other as well and now they want to have unisex toilets and um that is wickedness it's wickedness at the highest level of them all. We all know that as, um, as, as, as a human being, a female and a man, you cannot see, um, as a woman, I cannot see a naked man. Um, not unless that man is my husband, yes, then... I can see him and he can also see me naked. But this that they now want to introduce in schools, it is wickedness to the highest level. You know, I have no words to, 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 to explain this or to even define this. It is wickedness. You know, children are already killing each other at schools. In South African schools, children are already killing 
one another. They are stabbing each other. They are doing all sorts of wickedness. I was so shocked that one of the kids was killed by other kids in school. And they 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 cut the the tongue off they took off the teeth and some some other parts this happened where in schools so and there's so many cases in south africa of 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 kids being 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 killed by other kids in school or the fight will, will will start in school and then they take it outside and then they kill themselves they or it starts from the street and then they take it to school and they kill themselves and now we have this proposal now that children must have same toilets boys and girls this is wickedness you know when Sodom and Gomorrah was 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 destroyed, it was because of the things that are being introduced into our schools. It was because of such stuff. So I have been saying, you know, the generation that is being raised now, it is a generation that will later or are already disregarding God altogether. They have no regard for God at all. Because this is what is being taught in schools. For children to disregard God. God does not allow any human being to be seen naked by, by, by anyone. Except when it is a husband and wife. There is a law. There is a rule. Even even at home, you know, um, when there's boys and girls, boys will not see naked girls and girls, the same thing. And now this is going to be done in schools. This is going to be done in schools and we need to be prayerful. We need to wake up. We, we need to... Um, to see God, God says that if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and, 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 and pray and turn away from wickedness, I will hear from heaven and heal their land. So we need healing. <laughs> we need healing. We need to be separated from sin. We need to be separated from all this kind of wickedness that is being introduced. There's, a, there's a, a lot of things that are being introduced in schools. And unfortunately, we as Christians, we are slumbering. And um, the time we wake up, it might be too late. But you know, with God, it's, it's, it's never too late. It is never too early. But... We as Christians are slumbering a lot. We are sleeping. Uh, we are continuing with our lesson of our father Adam and our mother Eve. Today we're going to be doing chapter. Um, we are doing chapter seventy-four of um of Adam and Eve and um, <clears throat> we are doing we're going to be doing the birth of, of 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 Cain and his twin and the birth of of Abel and his twin that will be in chapter 75 the birth of of Abel and 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 um and a clear there was a twin to abel that is how the world began to multiply that is why i'm saying the bible has has gaps 
there's 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 information that is not there and it used to bother me a lot because i would seek to know how the world multiplied how um adam and eve lived their lives because i believe that they are our ancestors and we need to know from the beginning as to how they lived their lives how they related with god after they were kicked out of the garden and now with all this knowledge that i have gathered all the gaps that i had been you know wondering how did god did do this how did god do that i i now have an understanding and i would want like you the viewer to have this understanding because it 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 equips us um in our walk with god and it it, it increases our knowledge and it it also stabilizes us in our relationship with god we get to know um things that you know most people don't know and that is why you would find people being back and forth in their relationship with god because we now become unstable in our relationship with god because we have questions there's things that we do not understand but now this book has brought a lot of clarity to me and it stabilized my relationship with with god my relationship now with god is deep rooted and um it cannot be shaken anymore because i used to be very shaky in my relationship with god sometimes i would be with him i didn't trust him because the information that i was given it wasn't enough it it wasn't sufficient enough to make me believe in him and to make me trust him to make me know him at an intimate level now i'm 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 intimate with god you know when a husband and a wife are intimate with each other that is how intimate i am with god because i begin to know things that uh no one um uh uh in fact that i didn't know about i i shouldn't say no one knew about but most christians they do not know about this information so we're going to be reading from um chapter 74 verse 1 and they lived on the earth working so they could keep their bodies in good health you know we need to work that is why most people go to the gym because now um most of us are, are, are working in offices these days and um we we don't exercise our bodies a lot so um that is why we we go to the gym and that is why um adam and eve were working in order to keep their bodies healthy and in sh in 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 shape so that this is what we also need to do to exercise our bodies you can work in the garden you can you you, you can do anything to make your your body healthy and strong and then we're moving to, um, and they continued until the nine months of Eve's pregnancy were over and the time drew near when she should give birth. You remember Adam and Eve, they um, asked God to, to get married. They prayed and they fasted for 40 days and 40 nights asking for a permission from god to marry each other for adam to marry eve and god gave them a permission they were not married when they were put um in 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 the garden of eden no they were not even after they were kicked out of the garden of eden they didn't get married they were not married they didn't have sexual intercourse up until god gave them a permission to get married that is when they had sexual intercourse and they started having children and they had um cain and abel and cain and abel they had twin sisters but we'll get to hear about that as i move along then she said to adam 
The tokens placed in the cave since we left the garden show it to be a pure place. We will be praying in it again in a while. Because of this, it is not appropriate that I should give birth in it. Let, let us um, instead go to the sheltering rock cave that was formed by um, the command of God when Satan threw a big rock down on us in an attempt to kill us. So what, what Eve is saying here to Adam is that it will not be appropriate for them, for her to give birth where there's those treasures. You, you remember God gave them uh, mere incense and gold. So uh, uh, um, Eve is saying it is not appropriate for her to give birth in that cave where there's those treasures. So she wants them to go to a place where um, devil tried to kill them with a stone. <laughs> so she wants to give birth there. And um, Adam then took Eve to that cave. When um, the time came for her to give birth, she strained very much. And Adam felt pity for her. And he was very worried about her because she was uh, close to death. And the words of God to her were being fulfilled you shall bear a child in suffering and in sorrow shall you bring forth child uh, we all know um, especially women we know how painful is it to to give birth it's very painful it is not a nice experience at all so um uh, eve felt the same pains that women feel when they're giving birth as part of the curse, you remember when they were kicked out of the garden, they were cursed that we will, we were all cursed that we will give birth um, in sorrow and in pain. So this is what happened to Eve and Adam started praying to God. As I've, I've been saying in all my teaching that Adam and Eve, they were a woman of um, prayer and a man of prayer. Everything that was... Um, bringing trouble to them they will pray they will ask god they will seek god in all that so um we're moving to verse five and god looked at his maid servant eve and delivered her and she gave birth to her firstborn son and with him a daughter so um cain had a twin then adam and eve rejoice in the deliverance and also um over the children she um had given him and her and adam ministered to eve in the cave until the end of eight days when they named the son cain and the daughter lulua ne. the twin to cain was called Lulua. No. The meaning of Cain is a hater because he hated his sister in their mother's womb before they were born. You know, this I don't understand how would a little child, it's not even a child, it's an it's an infant, like inside the womb, they started hating each other. In fact, Cain started hating his twin and i don't even know why would it be like that this is a mystery you know the things of god are a mystery and some of the things god reveals to us and some he does he doesn't reveal to us this i don't understand why would someone in their mother's womb hate one another you know because of this adam named him cain but lulu means beautiful because she was more beautiful than her mother. Then Adam and Eve waited until Cain and his sister were 40 days old. When um, Adam said to Eve, we will make an offering and uh, offer it up in um, the half of the children. And Eve said, we will first make one offering for the firstborn son. And then later we shall make one of the daughter. This is how um, 
Adam and Eve had their first children. They didn't have Cain. They had two children. They had twins. The son was Cain and the daughter was Lulua. This is not in the Bible. It is not put there. And this makes sense to me that this is a how the world multiplied. And then we're going to be skipping to chapter 75 and we're going to move straight to verse 11. Now, when the children um, were wind, Eve conceived again. So when uh, um, Lulua and Cain were weaved from their mom's breast, wind, sorry, wind from their mom's breast, Eve conceived again. And when her pregnancy came to term, she gave birth to one, another son and a daughter. Nay. So um, Cain had a twin. The name was Lulua. And now um, Abel has a twin. Let's hear what is the name of the twin to Abel. They named um, the, um, the son Abel and the daughter Aklia. So the twin to Abel, her name was Aklia. It wasn't just Abel that was born. There were twins. It was Abel and Aklia. Ne. Then at the end of 40 days, Adam made an offering for the son. And at the end of 80 days, he um, made another offering for the daughter and treated them as he had previously treated Cain and his uh, sister Lulua. He brought them to um, the cave of treasures where they received a blessing and then returned to the cave where they were born. After these children were born, even um, Eve stopped having children. We're going to end here. And then now, uh, on our next chapter, we're going to be dealing with um, now Cain, beginning with his wickedness of hating his brother, even hating on his mother, um, uh, mistreating his mom, if I may even say abusing his mom. Um, that is how um, Cain was. Um, and then we're going to get um, to um, a place where um, Cain even kills his brother. And then I think that will be the end of... Um, part one of the book of Adam and Eve. And then as I said, um, we're going to be doing um, part two of this book next year and hopefully I will finish it quickly. <laughs> um, thank you so much for listening. I hope this is an eye-opener to you, um, listener. I hope it's an eye-opener because there's been a lot of information that has been hidden from us. Um, the devil wanted to hide this information from us so that we do not know who we are. <laughs> Thank God I know who I am. I know that I am a royal priesthood. I am a chosen one. I am a holy one, I am a chosen generation and I am a Hebrew, which is the information that has been hidden from us. They didn't want us to know these things. Now that we know, I thank God, I praise God. I'm hoping to see you soon um, in our next video. Thank you so much that you tune in. Cool. Bye.